Hi, I'm Matt from edgecraft.org. So today we're going to actually compile our mod and put it together so that people can actually install it on their Minecraft account. They don't have to uh, load your code into their own uh, generated workspace and then run it from Eclipse. So uh, that's what we're going to work on today. Now I know last week I said that we weren't going to use Eclipse anymore and I, I lied a little bit because we're actually going to do a little bit of work in Eclipse today um, as well as do some other stuff. So I hope you're not too disappointed. I hope you weren't like too sick of Eclipse, but yeah, we're gonna have to bring that back. So today, compiling your mod and installing it. So the only thing we're gonna do in Eclipse today is we're going to mess with a file called mcmod.info, and that just stores information like uh, the, the name of your mod, what version it is, stuff like that. And so we're going to to give it a name that's going to work for us. It's going to be, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. It's a simple thing, not a lot of coding. So here we go. Okay, so uh, looking like this, you get your Java, your resources. If you open up your resources, you'll see this file mcmod.info. Double click on that. You might get a text file that opens up. Uh, sometimes it'll appear in this window. Let's see, I'm working with there we go that's better for me so you right click on it and open with and go to text editor and it will appear in your window and I, I like that a lot more so under mod ID it's not called example mod so shh, I called it my mod and the name my space mod and then you can put in a description this mod really rocks you might be more descriptive like uh, you might want to say this mod contains these items or this mod changes this component of the game something 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 okay so the version of this mod is want to put it in between the brackets this is uh, 1.0 I uh, generally everyone kind of makes up their own rules for how the decimals work my general attitude is if it's ready for release you want to give it to other people that's 1.0 if you want to fix something, you add another space in the death small, and if you want to change some significant component of the mod, but you're not starting from scratch, you'll make it a 1.1. So right now it's 1.0. The version of next is the version of Minecraft that your mod is set up to work for, and that's 1.9.4 is what we made it for. URL is if you have a website. I'm just going to type edgecraft.org. Um, I really don't, oh, I don't really pay attention to any of this other stuff other than for credits. Um, I would like to thank the Academy. There we go. <laughs> so we've got all that info and all that stuff going for our mod so that we can compile it and make it work. All right, so you've got the naming conventions down and now I'm going to show you how to create your jar file that you're going to be able to pass back and forth for everybody. So you're going to actually, uh, there's a different ways to do this, whether you're running Windows or Mac. So first off, I'm going to do how to do this in Windows. So first off, you're going to save your stuff, save all, and you're going to quit Eclipse. And you're going to want to be in your uh, folder. This, this is where you've set up your workspace environment. Your computer is probably called, uh, your, on your computer, this folder is probably called Forge. Um, so yeah, it would, look, it would be that one. Uh, I have different mods that I'm working on, and so I call this one base mod. Uh, and so either way, you want to see these, you want to go to where you have these files. Okay, and you're going to right click and click go to new. And we just need a new file so I'm just gonna go text documents because those are those are simple and I'm gonna call this text document build and then I'm, I'm gonna actually I don't want it to be a text document so I'm going to erase this txt and it's gonna be build dot bat yes yes I do want to change it okay uh, some of you may not be able to see the with the, these this thing that's dot part those are called file extensions some of you may not be able to see those so what you have to do is you have to change your folder and search options 
and you're going to, where is it, view, and uh, it says hidden, or show hidden photos, yeah. There's a thing that says hide extensions for known file types. Uh, if you don't see those, those these um, text after it says dot, then you have this checked, and you need to uncheck that and then apply it. Okay, so in build.bat, I'm going to edit it, and it opens up Notepad, and then I'm going to type gradlu or gradle w space build. I'm going to go to file and save. All right, and now I'm going to run it. You should get something that looks like this and it takes a little bit some time so let's check back in a minute hey this looks familiar remember all that from setting up your workspace uh, yes I've seen this many a time all right now that that's done uh, you've run your build.bat which is really just setting up a saying hey I want you to run this command from the command prompt in this folder so we, you could have done this through the command prompt too but I don't know I just thought we'd do it this way this time so if you look at your folder that says build, you'll double click on that. And this folder that says libs, you double click on that. And this is your mod, the one that says mod ID dash 1.0 jar. So I'm gonna change the name. Uh, I think I talked about calling it material mod. And that is the jar file that we are going to use. All right, so that's how you do it in a Windows machine. And next we're gonna see how to do it on an OS X machine, which um, in Windows we kind of cheated and made a bat file and then ran that. Uh, but in the OS X machine, you're probably, gonna, the best way is really to still, to use the terminal. So we're gonna get into some terminal commands, which I know you thought you were done when the, all those videos ago when you set up your, your workspace environment, the Gradle. And, uh, but now we're gonna do another one. So, woo. so for a Mac, as you can see in this beautiful Mac screen, you are going to want to click on this magnifying glass thing, and oh look, it's already there. You're going to type terminal. You're going to open up the terminal. Now you're going to CD desktop with a capital D, CD forge, and you're in this forge thing. Now you're going to type bash, gradle W, and then you are going to type build. And if you hit enter, it's going to run all this stuff. All right, once that's finished, it should look like this. You'll have all this stuff, and we'll say build successful. And what that tells you, let's quit terminal, is if you open up your forge foil that you put on your forge folder, not foil, that you put on your desktop, uh, as we went in, as we discussed in our setup instructions. Uh, you can go to this other folder inside called build and when you click on that and you go to libs Then this file mod ID dash 1.0 dot jar. This is your mod. So I'm going to call it my mod Dash 1.0 Okay, so that's you all right, so now you're gonna need to get forge on your computer um, You might be saying well, Matt, didn't I already install a Forge on my computer? Well, you got the source files for your mod development kit, but you're going to actually have to run the program Forge in order to set up your Minecraft account to be able to install mods. And that's it's the same Forge website, but it's a, it's a different file that you're going to use. And so I think that the file is on those drives that we gave you, where's mine? something like this, our flash drives. And, um, but if not, uh, you can install them pretty easily. So I'm gonna show you the website first, and then I'm gonna show you what to do. So this step's gonna look a little familiar. Uh, you're gonna go to files.minecraftforge.net. And we want 1.9.4, so you're gonna click on that to get 1.9.4. And under this download recommended, you are going to get what's called the universal. That's the jar file. And as long as you have your Java runtime environment set up, you'll be able to run this file whether you have a Mac or a PC or a Linux or whatever you have. So you're gonna go ahead and click on that. 
and I have to give you this warning again, don't click on anything you see here. Wait until you see this button up here. And whoop, it says skip. This is the only thing you're gonna click on. And when you click on that, you download your forge file. All right, sure, why not, I'll keep it. And after downloading your forge file, you are going to just run it. So you go to where the forge file goes, or you just click it from there. And here we go. We're running for Minecraft Forge, and it's going to set you up to install 1.9.4. And in this case, we're going to go to Install Client, and take a look at this folder down here. It's a directory. That is where you're going to put your files that you want, or your mods that you want to install in your game. So let's see if I can find that one. That's going to be users. So let's go to C drive. Users. Admiral map bar. App data. Oh, I guess it wouldn't be here because I haven't installed it yet. So let's go. Okay. And you get a little window. This should say you've installed it successfully. Let's find it, app data, right there, roaming, Minecraft, and mods. And so what you're going to do is you've created this folder, uh, this roaming, update uh, your name, username, app data, roaming, Minecraft. You go to mods, and these are the mods. I've already have a mod here, but this is an old version, so I'm actually going to delete that. But I'm going to paste my new mod. Where is it? There it is. So where is it? It's, it's a base mod. Build. Libs. I already moved it somewhere. Oh yeah, material mod. I'm going to drag that in there. And then I'm going to run Minecraft not from Eclipse, but run Minecraft the way I normally do. So I have this link right here. And my profile, I'm going to run it under the profile Forge. And here's what we also want to do. If you look down here, it says ready to play Minecraft 1.8.9. It's the wrong version of Minecraft. So I'm going to click on Edit Profile, and I'm going to pull this drop-down thing out. And what we're going to do is we're going to play 1.9.4, and we have the distribution 12.17.0.1976, and that's our, that's our version of Forge. So you use version and you got to run it with 1.9.4. That's probably going to be the only 1.9.4 you see. I've done this a lot and done different versions of 1.9.4, but it's the one that ends in 1976, uh, the 200th anniversary of the, of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Okay, and then you click on Save Profile and you play the game. Play. I'm just going to have to do some stuff. And so we've started up Minecraft, and we'll click on Mods, and we'll see. Yeah, I see it, my mod. Yeah, I didn't say anything, I'm lazy, but who cares? All right, and so when I start a single player, nah, I'm gonna create a new world, new world, new mode, creative, create new world. I should see the stuff that I created in my mod. So I'm actually playing real Minecraft, this isn't, booting out of um, Eclipse, I am using my account and running my account name. And so this should give me all the stuff that I had that I created in my mod. Oh, well, there's already one good sign. Take a look at that. There's the aura that I created. All right, let's check on some of these items. We got our combat section. Chain chest plate. That's cool. All right, 
on my material stuff and then remember I didn't make textures for this so I've got and look at the name right there I forgot to do the names for the other armor but you see an Octanium helmet that's the actual um, it's the game display name from my link file and for my uh, rename that an Octanium shovel so yeah you don't have to worry about that so all the stuff that I made is there so I have successfully installed this mod into Minecraft and added it to my game Hooray for me. I think I deserve a cookie. Or maybe one of my tasty, um, ah, yeah, look at that. Whatever that is. Ew, cooked rabbit. That's, I don't like that. Okay, so now you not only know how to make a mod, but you know how to release it in such a way that you can share it with people, even if those people don't have Eclipse and aren't running, and aren't, aren't coders themselves. So most of you have probably already installed a few mods in Minecraft before you even took our camp. Um, and you wanted to know how to make your own mod, so that last part was probably completely unnecessary for you. Uh, but for those of you who don't, that last part hopefully was very helpful for you. Uh, now you can also install other people's mods and you can sort of participate in the community of Minecraft modders. And hey, uh, shoot us an email here at edgycraft.org, get in con contact us through our website, uh, and if you make a mod, I would, and it's, you know, it checks out, it's not like gross or obscene or anything, I'd love to uh, host it on our, on our website so that other people can see all the really neat work that you've done. So keep in contact, uh, come to our website, do the contact us thing, and uh, email us your mods when uh, your jar files up so that we can host them on our website. That'd be awesome. And uh, anyway, that's all you know. This won't be the last video. I'll do other videos for other stuff. There's, there's plenty of modding stuff I haven't covered. This is all just the basic how to make blocks and items and recipes that you can sort of populate your game with and how to set up your modding environments and all that stuff. So this is just sort of the what you need to know to make the most basic mod you can. I'll, I'll try to do some other videos where we do some more some more interesting stuff, maybe get into some mobs and uh, tile entities and things like that. But in the meantime, uh, happy modding and good luck.